I'm stuck here, apparently. The movement system is so refined, you can't walk through that without jumping over it like a lunatic. Bizarre. Okay. This is cluttered enough to be an escape room. Which is an exciting prospect. <laughs> Letter to Dutch. This is back now in 2015. Dad, I got your message. Good to hear they're dropping the charges. We'll try to come out for a part of the summer. Ricky wants to show you how he's riding without training wheels, but Annie's got a lot of work at the college. I know how much it means to you, so we'll try. Only, please lay off the homeschool and talk, okay? It's not right for me or Anne, and the school in South Street is one of the best. And let's keep the prepping activities to a minimum. I know, I know Ricky loves it, but it freaks Annie out. Talk soon, Robbie. So the big question is, when does multiplayer start being accessible, exactly? I think it becomes a tab somewhere in here. So here's my journal. There's character- oh, you can do character customization again, okay. But yeah, I think we, I need, we need to unlock more tabs, basically. Local fights to use water. Richard Dutch Roosevelt served two nights in jail for contempt of court after cons uh, contesting his right to collect rainwater in what the state has defined as reservoir. Mr. Roosevelt has operated this rainwater collection without a proper permit in flagrant violation of Montana laws, said the Water Resource Department Deputy Director Edwin Garcia. Mr. Roosevelt is contesting the charges. I take it Mr. Roosevelt's the person that we are now finding ourselves with. Dutch, you there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? We've, we've heard a miss of gunshots and I, and I swore that weren't thunder earlier, but, but a couple of explosions. Boomer's all riled up and won't settle down. Is this more of them Peggy's bullshit? How much are we gonna stand for? Anyway, call me back when you can and take care of yourself. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, this is Dutch. Anybody? You ready to work? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Uh. You work on that? That creepy remote opening of a safe trick you got there? That was unnerving. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. Ah, there's the four characters from the portrait. Joseph Seed, the father, leader of the project at Eden's Gate, he believes a great collapse is coming, and thinks of himself as a modern-day Noah. Thinks God speaks to him, told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he's started the reaping, his followers are willing to die for him. He's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves from his prophecy. Comes true, this guy's an absolute nut job. Faith, the siren. Don't know how she's related, seems like she just showed up one day. She'll spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you ever get the chance if you ever give her the chance. 
Anyone who goes wandering into Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to become one of those brain-dead angels doing all the cult's hard labor. John Seed, the Baptist, youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most sadistic, in charge of recruiting for the cult. Marking, cleansing, confession, atonement. Those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate, if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as a way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Great A psychopath. Jacob Seed, the soldier. Oldest brother of the Seeds, in charge of training their militia up in the White Tail Mountains. Only thing he believes in is sacrifice the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on, turning on another at the drop of a hat. Has been linked to the creation of the monster wolves up north that the cult calls judges. There's monster wolves? Okay, so this we're going full wacky. Alright. Alright. Are those the three unlockable zones of the game? Is that what I'm supposed to t take from that? It might be. I knew bad shit was coming down the pike, but I never imagined it going down like this. I grew up with the fear of nukes raining down on us. And if it wasn't going to be that, I figured the earthquakes and tsunamis would wipe out the coasts. Safest place in the world was supposed to be right here in Big Sky Country. I never thought the evil would be in the garden, so to speak. Hopefully that music doesn't get me in some trouble. <laughs> With the video takedown. Always a risk. Alright, so I've got my gun. I'm back to having grenades listed. I just don't know how to use them. G? Or... Well, now I can't test it because I don't have any more. That was a hell of a time for tutorials to be popping up and then disappearing before I could even read them. The weapon wheel. There's a weapon wheel in Q? Oh, that'd be great to have known a moment ago. Okay. This is all straightforward-ish, I think. That's not a weapon wheel at all. How are you gonna go and call this a wheel? <laughs> Somebody didn't change the text from the from the console version of the game, where it's actually a wheel. Molotov throwing that grenade. All right, game doesn't exactly pause when I'm doing this, does it? E takes me to utility, liquor, oregano, the fast, the furious, ultimate hunter, and ultimate survivor. Okay, we'll learn what those are over time, I'm sure. Hmm. Well, I have a shovel, because I am a well-adjusted member of society, and we don't run around with guns all the time like lunatics, right? Don't drop the soap. You know how much- isn't it time-consuming as shit to carve that into stone? For a dumb joke. What was this facility for originally? My eyes! Welcome to the outdoors. Now listen up. If you're gonna build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. There's four ways you can go about this. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Third, you can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they could sure use your help. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the resistance solid footholds to push back against Eden's Gate. There you go. That would, that would have been a good way to teach me how to use the grenade. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south and take out any culture you see. We went from zero to liberate this entire island single-handedly really fast. Oopsie. Well, that guy looks like an asshole. We better murder him. I wonder if this one will end up as a chosen or an angel. A chosen or an angel? I can't wait. Let's go find out. Oh shit. She's probably fine. 
I'll take her gun in a moment. Hey, buddy. You're fine. There you go. Thanks, deputy. I'm gonna loot these bodies real quick. Throwables! Equip a throwable via the weapon wheel by holding Q and selecting with them buttons, and you cl you hold... Oh god, you throw with the middle mouse button clicking? That's a hell of a default hotkey. And you cook it by holding it. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. Yeah, nice job with all the... Do you always virtue signal? <laughs> I just imagine the type of person that uses the words like virtue signal in a, and then playing a game like this and just responding like unironically like that to like the people like they're like man these murder cults sure are a problem it's a good thing I'm not like them and like goddamn virtue signaler So we're charging up a resistance meter, basically. Because I think I need to... Yeah, we're, we got two more tabs now. I've got a map. Ooh, nice looking map. Can't zoom in very, not very far, though, because we're still... Yeah, okay, we're in a micro island here. I think, I think I've heard that I need to save this island, the first one in the game. And then I think you're allowed to play multiplayer. So that'll be when this uh, series abruptly changes. Any people around here? I got a big scary gun. Anyone want to meet my big scary gun? Anyone? <laughs> Get the Pulp Fiction effect. Oh, that's the guy I liberated. Okay. I was like, who the fuck's walking up behind me? Cult Shrine. The reaping has begun. The Father has commanded us to raise these shrines through the region to spread his word. Once it is built, the sinners will try to deface it. We must defend these structures at all costs. We build these shrines so the Father's wisdom will take root and grow. For Eden's Gate. They typed it up on a computer. Hey, do the computers have internet in this game? I'm sorry, I'm trying, supposed to, I'm supposed to suspend disbelief about the whole premise of the game. Even though... Hey, Henry, I'm at the edge of the wood near where you spotted the fire sign. I don't know what that show yeah. motor was doing buzzing the treetops, but the sky is now clear of air traffic. That smoke plume is pretty thick, but I need a closer look. What I can't figure out is what all these Peggies are doing out here. There's a whole bunch of them in the woods calling out like they're looking for someone. I, I don't know if they're involved, but they seem pretty crusty and... Holy hell! A pickup just drove by like nobody's business, and the piggies in the back were all carrying rifles and shotguns. I'm gonna... Holy shit! We reached peak immersion here. <laughs> this guy's covered in blood, and his face is wet, and his hands are smeared and everything, and the first thing he does is pick up a broom to sweep one corner of the room for three seconds, then put it back down as if, like, washing his face or... Anything else would not be the priority. This place is such a mess that you wouldn't even start with trying to scrub it. Look at the, the shattered glass and paint everywhere, and this thing's knocked over. Huh. Well, it was nice of that woman to narrate about how the people that she was driving up on were armed so we could understand the context of why she ho suddenly said, holy shit, and got pieced right out. Yep. Good job. Ah, we don't got that. Prepper's note. Hey, Mike, I tried to get to the underground stash, but a pipe burst and flooded everything. I have no idea what's still salvageable. We need to juice the... We need juice to run the pump to drain the water. I know the power switch in the bout house, but it's locked and I didn't give you the key. So I'll leave you to that. Leave that to you, Garrett. But let's track that. Why not? Way the hell over there. That's the location of a prepper stash. If you can find your way inside, there's usually a bunch of useful shit that's been squirreled away. Well, go take a look. Alright. Got some money stashed around. Uh, electricity. There might be a short circuit or something. That is a full screen transition. Can I climb you? Can I climb you? Ow. Can I climb you? Oh, we can jump way the hell up. Okay. 
That's a change of pace from some of the games I've been playing lately. Can I just go through there? No, we can't Batman that great open. Can I fish via gun? Is the question. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't expect the water to be safe right now. Let's see. How do you. It's F5 quick save. No? Eh, it's a triple A shooter game. Uh, it's probably saving all the time, honestly. So is- do I get electrified by going in the water here? Or am I safe? Oh, we're fine. Okay, I was overthinking that. This game's heavy on- this game's heavy on the, uh... On the use of blue ropes, the climbing ropes everywhere. It's a- it's a- it's a break from poopy ledges to signify all the spots where you can climb something. It's usually poopy ledges everywhere. But now we're transitioning to, uh... Weird climbing ropes being everywhere. Perfectly perched on an exact weight where they, they'll lean over the ledge, but they won't fall off, which is impressive because some of the part that's hanging over the ledge is metal. That's some weight. Should be good to go. I find myself trying to switch to the weapon that's least annoying to have on the screen because it keep, when I go near a wall they pivot up and in, in my face which when it's an ore is basically my whole screen anyone around to investigate I haven't seen another dude for a while all right water am I emptying this place of water or something I didn't actually check down. Oh yeah, I am. I didn't even check. I didn't check down here before. We have an automatic flashlight. Eh, pipe. Just seems more threatening. Kind of fishing for pickups. All oh, right. The whole melee thing. Still an option. Ooh. Neat. Not sure how I feel about the idea of... Uh, unlock an additional slot with the perk addition, additional hel holster and weapons collector. So I need to unlock the ability to even have anything else. So we have a sidearm and a main weapon. So do I want a bow? You may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. Just grab them up and get crafting. Ooh. Crafting. Craft Molotovs and explosives in the weapon wheel. You hold Q and click on the thing and stuff and yeah. Uh, hold right click, right, uh, right mouse to craft. Then close, yeah. Yeah, where was that pop-up when they were explaining me to how to do the... The grenade or whatever, the dynamite in the, in the intro part. I was spent half the intro trying to figure out what they said earlier. It's the one time in the game they don't pause. All right, so I've got this is probably a good way to do stealth takedowns and stuff, which seems fitting for the type of encounters I've been seeing in the open world. There's liquor, oregano. Like. Don't think I can craft that. No, don't have what you need. That's a pipe bomb which you can't craft, but we we can craft dynamite. That's all the stuff I just found. There we go. Just enough to make like one of them basically. That transition to brightness is really cool until the moment I get shot in the face. <laughs> Trying to transition between spots. Dude, this is a high point. I probably should have been using it to find vantage points. Conspicuous blue bar of climatude. See, so while I'm up here, can I find any stuff around here? 
That seems important. The shrine. Hunter's nest. Hunter's nest. I used the only zipline that didn't lead to a hunter's nest, didn't I? Or whatever, or if that's whatever you call them. There we go. Chance to get a little loot, a little healing item. I mean, how do I get down safely? Let's find out. That works fine. Didn't think that that would be as safe as it was. Oh, there might have been a ladder. Because I see a ladder here. Blue seems to be their go-to climbable color now. I want to say it was orange before? Or in Assassin's Creed, it was wall. <laughs> Is that a wall? You can climb it. Should be the shrine I saw in the distance. Yep. Destroy the cult uh, property to earn resistance points. Sure. What's the deal with the green mist? Oh. What? Is it scarecrow gas? What the hell? <laughs> You're going to die and he's not even going to notice unless you turn around right now and that would be really awkward. You said it. But doing <laughs> just clunk her over the head. It's very abrupt. It's a little refreshing. There's all these like over over drawn out takedowns in all these games. In this game, you just deck him in the face with a freaking giant metal bar, and you're like, you're d he's down. I'm like, yeah, that would do it. Generally speaking, deck uh, knocking somebody over the head with a me really heavy metal pipe probably is enough. Oh, is that a down? Is that what? Is that the character from Left 4 Dead? <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2? The one that's always talking about hanging out with Keith? I have trouble remembering his name. Nick comes to mind, but I think Nick is the other guy. I think Nick's the guy in the suit. I haven't played Left 4 Dead 2 for a long time. Boy, is this guy not observant. Oh shit, he's about to observe. <laughs> what the fuck is... I think he observed. That'll teach him to observe. There we go. Punching his corpse. So am I drugged out from your crazy shit? Am I supposed to just shoot the thing? Oh, that's all I had to do? Oh, that would have been a fun explosion. Although taking them all out one by one probably makes me safer. Fun. May not be the best approach. There we go. Sorry, dude. I don't know when you died. So I don't know if I was around. Kid, I just saw the cult grab a guy down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor. Somebody down by the docks? Well, we better get over there. Guns for high, storm mission. Save the resistance member. Where is he? How much coverage does he have? Is that lootable? Oh. Stuck out, so I thought it might be an herb you grab. As often a thing. Does he have cover, or do I just shoot that guy and it's it? You. You good? <laughs> Fell over backwards in the water. Yep, found, I found the weapon I like, I think. This is nice. Hey, you. Take that gun. Get out of here. No, not that gun. Go on, get. Oh, right. Uh, higher. You made the right call. You're a godsend. I'm going after that cult twice as hard. Hey, deputy. Now that you're partnered up, the day you should head to the forest research station. Cult's been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. 
Oh, I'm co oping with them. Okay. Guns for hire controls. Press G to order your gun for hire to move to a target location. Press G to order your gun for hire to target the target. Yeah. So they'll try to stay in stealth as long as possible, which is good. I hope. Hopefully, they have good AI. Although I probably can't use gun for hires when I'm in co-op, I would assume. But G, but yeah, G is the controls for go there or shoot that dude, much like Mass Effect. You go over there into this brush, hang out. I'll see what I can do. Not the best target, it's kind of easy to spot. But I'm gonna start with you anyway. Oh boy. They don't know where I am still. They don't know where I am still. Oopsie. Hey, buddy. Doing all right? There we go. Hey, he, the, that guy ran off into the background, the guy that I missed, and my gun fryer took him out because he ran straight into him. That's great. Yeah, I'm working on it, buddy. Hey, my arrow. Can I take this back? Hold G to say follow me. Keep going. You following me? I'm with you. How do I tell you're following me? It won't be me? Oh well. But someone's gonna stop them. Oh uh, yeah, somebody's alive. Like it won't be me, but someone's gonna stop them. Smart thinking. It just ain't Christian. Is this another creepy laugh jet? So they they just they're they're they're, they're 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 like straight up scarecrow like what the fuck they're having a reaping and they got like crazy like psycho person gas everywhere okay I mean if I if I can that's fine <laughs> my suspension of disbelief will work a lot better if I'm just assuming this is like a Batman universe freaking video game then it, then it goes full wacky this is redneck Batman hey buddy. Don't mind me, just gonna take all your shit. But I'm the good guy. Don't forget. Reaping has begun. Isn't it the same? I think it's the same as before. The cult's been creeping around the island for weeks. Looks like they're trying to set up a base of operations at the old ranger station. Excuse me, I believe you stole my haircut? I'm gonna have to end you for that. Sorry, it's just where we came to. Can I not open? Oh, I keep trying to open doors with a button, but you just run through them, and your character's just ready. Which I mean, easier to easier for gunfights then to just be sprinting through doors and they just open for you. But I'm so used to manually opening doors that I keep stopping to do it. I can. Oh, you. Oh, you are lootable. It's just I already have the stuff. <laughs> their their bodies have a sheeny shine to them when they're lootable, which is amusing. Alright, that's far away, so let's, let's see my map and see if fast travel works. Can I fast travel to there? There is fast travel, but it doesn't work yet, or something. Currently says unavailable. Game controls very well, runs very well. In fact, you know a game runs pretty well when they have... They, they straight up include a benchmarking feature in the game. Uh, when you're playing this game, you can have it benchmark at the main menu based on your current settings. So you choose all your settings, it sets you to the settings you have, and then it benchmarks where it shows a... Uh, it flies through a little area and shows a little battle, some explosions, and it tells you what your current frame rate is on a graph. I'm like, well, that's pretty neat. That's some confidence in the integrity of the how the game runs, which, I mean, at this point Ubisoft better be there, but Bethesda sure as hell is never there. So we can't take, we can't take for granted that people act like that. Oh, there's a neat guy needs to be saved. Don't shoot that guy. 
Don't shoot that guy. Out. Oh. I guess you guys got him. Neat. Oh yeah, it's that kind of music. I'm not entirely confident that people will survive in this game. It's more fighting you than I thought. You got a real shot at setting up this resistance. What's going on? Next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. You think you can take care of that for me? I'm not sure what they were freaking out about. The guy's running around like he was taking cover, but the other guy's just casually sweeping like it's no big deal and we're not in a war zone or anything. I gotta say, if I was in this situation, I would literally never pick up a broom unless it was as a melee weapon, because, like, the fuck? In, with, when the world's in this state, you're gonna care about sweeping floors ever? Everyone's shooting each other over five feet. There's not a single safe part I've seen in this environment, and it's gonna stay that way as far as I can tell. Preparations get hey, in for the upcoming Montana I'm not sure we're show in Rodeo and Lewistown. The seats don't have any claim to the property. Even larger turnout the, the station is built on federal land 19, after all. Attendees. But if there are people are traipsing around the area and, what did you say, taking measurements and such? Anyway, those folks from Eden's Gate could potentially be charged with trespassing. I know they're kind of weird and unsociable, but I think if you give them a harsh word and a hard stare, they'll back off. I mean, how dangerous are these nutjobs going to be? Yeah, we got a local map. All right. Excuse me. In my way. You have a good drink. Even that's hard to come by nowadays. Technically, I have a melee weapon, but I don't think I've used it yet for melee purposes. I've just used it for takedowns, which I don't think is the same. Nope. Ah, we have a roster of recruited people. Things are, I have almost a thousand dollars already. Turns out if you just run around shooting people, it's surprisingly easy to acquire currency. Kind of fucked up. <laughs> Let's go to the cult shrine. Stray along the way. Try to get out of Tutorial Island. A very little t literal Tutorial Island. Gonna have to go for a swim, it looks like. Short swim's over there. Kind of stress testing it right now. I don't, I don't think I have a stamina meter. I was sprinting for a while there. Power slide. The game has a really good feel to it in general. The way it controls and everything. It's a good first sign. I'm wondering where the hell it's going to go with the story. Yeah, I don't think Peggy- Peggy sounds like a dumb... A dumb thing to call them. <laughs> it's not working for me, frankly. Okay. I think it's a recurring thing, though. In military situations, or combat situations, the enemy is often called a dumb name that just doesn't... seem like it fits the situation, necessarily. Hello! He was starting to see me, that means he had to die. We have the game tracked how much time you spend in gas territory over the course of the campaign, and that affects whether you get a good ending or a bad ending. Is there no one else here? Okay, okay, you don't, I was about to shoot that. You get away from there. You go over there. There we go. You can go back to following me. Glad to be able to order them around so I don't have to sit there and deal with him standing next to a thing I'm trying to blow up and not walking away from it. Watch it over me. Damn, the fish jumped like crazy around here. Okay, the blue rope's getting weird. <laughs> it's every five feet. It's crazy. Not sure if I have a ton of reason to have loot yet in this game.
Ooh, Mega Molotov. Nope. Need liquor. Ain't got no liquor. Can't craft liquor. No. Wait, it just says you craft liquor out of liquor? Is that what it says? Huh. You need plants to make these drugs, but you need bliss oil. That's the deciding factor right there. I knew I should have taken that job over in Boston. Yeah. Well, I think anyone who's here that's not part of the crazy cult probably wishes they were doing literally anything besides uh, be or in here. So fitting. Oh, N puts my weapon away. Did I just hurt myself? That hurt me, but jumping out of that one tower didn't hurt, hurt me. Alright. Maybe it was the momentum? Because I was sprint jumping? Lock required. I don't need no locks. I got parkour skills. I played Dead by Daylight. I mean, uh, Dying Light. Different game. Complete. I've never played Dead by Daylight at all. <laughs> Alright, there was not a roof access like I was hoping for. Oh, hey. Giant tower. Could go that way. Maybe the key will be up there. Never know. Oh my goodness, I'm sprinting up a ladder right now, I think. No, that's always that speed. I was pressing sprint and I thought I was going to up way faster. I know what you're thinking, and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Oh, yeah. so try not to fall from up there. We're doing that? We're, we're doing meta jokes about Ubisoft games now and their tower climbing fetish that they have across other games? So you can activate uh, Eagle Vision and then jump into a hay bale? After review, after revealing a small circle of a map, there's even radio towers in their car game, if I remember correctly. fog to be gone to leave the island? Interesting. I think that's it though. That's the tutorial done with. Do one of each action more or less. Shoot some dudes. Get a badass crossbow. Or not bow. Oh, shit. Com compound bow? I'm picking up something new out of Holland Valley. It's a broadcast from John. You need to see this. We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? 
What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. wish to be unburdened. Yes, I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins and you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Fuck. John Cena's got your partner, Hudson. She's in a world of shit, kid. You gotta get going. I have questions. Several questions. One of which, uh, not the most important question, but it's on the list. Uh, hey, kid. I marked three locations to your map to get you started. Lumber Mill up north, the Hope County Jail to the east, and the town of Falls End to the west. Now it's your call, but if I were you, I'd start with Falls End. First, I'm wondering, do women with those kinds of jobs wear eyeliner on the job? Because like her makeup was running, I'm like, I don't know if that was the kind of mission for makeup, but okay, but that's, that's the least important question. Uh, another question, how was I watching that? Do I have a video transmitter somewhere or something in this thing where we don't have radio? We don't have an internet seemingly or something. Is that a wow, look at the crazy statue up there? But also, if you're doing like a peaceful, like with like calm guitar music thing, like to recruit people to your crazy religion, like it's about it's all about saying yes, yeah, it's so liberating, and you have a crying like some sort of like tortured looking sobbing person tied up in your video I'm like what purpose did that serve did you, I don't know I have it's, it's on the list of questions anyway multiplayer is now accessible so I'm gonna figure that out 